Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Overtax Taxpayer channel for my silver video. I haven't done a silver video in quite some time, as well as some gold. There's four pieces of gold on this table. Um, I'm, as many as you know, I'm a big proponent. I'm really for stacking precious metals. Um, even lead. But we won't talk about that right now. Um, what is unique about what is on this table at this moment is I've stacked all of this, not just because of the silver content, but because of the, the art, what I consider art, uh, the graphics on these coins. Um, I have a lot of silver eagles. I have a lot of Canadian maple leaves. I have a lot of various coins, but sometimes I will go out of my way and buy a coin just merely on its on its artwork. I don't know how else to say it um, because some of them are quite beautiful and we can just constantly, you know, stack the same metals. We can stack Canadian maple leaves all day long and, and silver eagles and it's going to get quite boring. So every now and then, you know, you got to stack what makes you happy. You got to stack what you're going to want to look at uh, as well as, you know, going with the standard, you know, the eagles and the maple leaves. I want to show you a few. This is by far um, not all of my favorite uh, coins here because I have quite a few more privateers and I have a, quite a few more um, Queen's Beast and such. But let me see if I can get this camera to focus. So, you know, here is a nice coin. This is actually, and I've shown you all these coins. But also, please understand that I got a lot of new subscribers. They might not have seen them. And I sometimes will rock the coin just so y'all can see an image of it. This happens to be a two ounce coin. This is from the Private Tier series. Private Tier. Private Tier. Set it slowly so you can hear it. Urge y'all to look up the Private Tier series. I think there's about 10 or so coins in their series and they're all pirate related. And I do believe most of them are two ounces. To give you an idea, here is a one ounce coin. Beautiful coin. The Silver Shield. Now a lot of you folks know I'm not very fond of the Silver Shield series coins. However, this one reminded me of my wife. Put it in my hand. It is of a lady. Very pretty coin. And other, the other side is the silver shield with all the bullets and, and whatnot. The wings are made up of bullets. This is a standard one ounce coin. Why don't I care for the Silver Shield too much? This is called the Freedom Girl, by the way. Um, other than this coin, a lot of my Silver Shield coins seem to tarnish a little bit more than the average coin. Now, this coin is different. I've had it for quite a few years. It has not tarnished one iota. So, but on the whole, I find that the Silver Shield coins, the relief on most of the coins are kind of um, flat. Relief, um, how do we describe what relief is? It's the image, how it sticks up, that 3D quality. They also call that relief. I find that the Silver Shields, not completely all of them, but a lot of the silver shields have a very shallow relief. 
Now granted that Freedom Girl is pretty good, but I can show you a couple of other coins. And I don't believe I have any on this table that are not quite as profound. The image, the 3D quality. But they're, they're still not my favorite coin, but I do have a few. Um, these are all my Canadian coins, all birds right here. Kookaburros and, and whatnot. <coughs> Your standard various birds and whatnot. Another coin I really like is the Queen's Beast coin. Now, Queen's Beast I think has about five or six in its series. And I wanted to open them up, but I don't think I'm going to be successful. Anyway, on one side, they call them the Queen's Beast because on one side is the Queen. On the other side is the beast. So this one that I'm holding here is the dragon. Let me get a better shot of that for you. Again, I kind of move it so you might catch a better glimpse. My studio here does not have, I have not purchased any lighting yet, any professional lighting yet. So that's coming soon. Here's another Queen's Beast. By the way, the Queen's Beast are, I'm trying to open this up, that's the click in you here. Are two ounce increments. Again, the Queen. And the Beast. This one happens to be a horse. Again, two ounces. Notice the Privateer series, two ounces. So take a look. For you folks, I always get questions. Well, which, what should I collect? What should I collect? Well, I'm telling you some series here, folks. Look at the Privateer series. Look at the Queen's Beast series. You know, the Canadians, they also make all these kookaburros and whatnot. I, am I pronouncing that right? The Australian coins. They're actually Australian. I say Canadians. I do, um, because every time, it just had a habit. When I see the queen, I automatically associate it with Canadian maple leaves. But they are Australian coins. My bad. And you can see the various coins here, various kookaburros and whatnot. And different variations of, queen, of the queen on some of these. Like here's one queen. I believe there's a, a different variation of the queen. See, so it gives you a little bit of, um, gives you a little bit of variation. So take out, take a look at the Australian coins as well. Um, very pretty coins, very, very detailed coins. When you take a look at like the koala bear right there, very detailed. You take a look at some of the birds that I just shown you. You can actually see, and I don't think the camera does it much justice, you can actually see the details in the bird's feathers and the, and the leaves and the, in the tree that it's uh, sitting upon. This looks like an eagle. Again, very detailed. So take a look at these guys. Here is a... Bitcoin. Now, a lot of you know I'm into cryptocurrencies. Um, they are really exploding right now. I'm trying to open this up. I'm not very good I, <laughs> at open, opening up some of these. There we go. My hands are clean. 
There's a Bitcoin right there. This is a silver Bitcoin, 0.999 Bitcoin. The flip side. Very nice coins. And many of you are, are already fans of the Donald Trump coin. Now, I personally like the coin. However, I think they could have done a better job at this coin. The, light, the likeness of him, um, it's, it's okay. I wish, I would have preferred to see a three-quarter angle of him, you know, facing slightly towards you, but off to an angle. Um, in all actuality, I would have loved seeing the Donald Trump coin in a couple of different variations. So I'm not a big fan of this, this coin uh, for the sake of likey, like, liken, likeness to him. Um, but uh, all in all, I'm a fan of Donald Trump. I'm a fan of his coin. We have the 25 and 30 year Canadian maple leaf. These, are, these were gifted to me, by the way, from a couple of subscribers of mine. 25 and 30 year Canadian maple leaf. Point nine 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 nine. that's four nines. This is what they call a Cougaran. 0.999, one ounce, pure silver. And I believe that's an antelope. Anybody can correct me. The Stagecoach silver coin. Horse-drawn Stagecoach. Again, these are ideas for silver. If you're Curious, which silver? A lot of new stackers out there. What should I collect? A lot of people keep asking me. I'm giving you those ideas right now. What I like about this coin, this stage coach coin, is it's already divided. It's scored to where you can break them into quarter ounces. To give you an idea, this is a tenth ounce a pure silver, 0.999 pure silver, one-tenth of an ounce. One of these is a quarter of an ounce. Call this stagecoach. Speaking of smaller increments, again, this is a generic round and it looks almost identical, I said almost identical, to the Silver Eagle. It's a lady on the front, standing liberty almost. On the back side, an eagle with its wings spread. <coughs> Excuse me. Some other coins that are no longer in production are these. They're no longer in production. The company went out of business. But it is nonetheless a nice looking coin. It's a point nine nine nine, by the way. It's Murrah finished. This is put out by the FOP Company, P-H-A-U-P, FOP Company. They went out of business. Some of the gold I have. This is a very small piece of, um, I think it's a one gram little tiny bar 
of gold, pure gold. Kind of cool. This too was gifted to me by one of my viewers. This is where things get tricky because I, <laughs> I did not wear my glasses. But this is also a Cougaran, one tenth ounce Cougaran. See if I can get it out. Again, my hands are clean. And like the silver cougaran, it too has an antelope. And the old man on the other side. One tenth ounce. This one, they call it, um, oh gosh, some of you will notice, know, know what it is, it's a, gosh, I'm going to mess it up, but it's a, they call it something bust. I'm going to pop it out. This has a little copper in it. It's still pure silver, I guess, a, I think this is a 25th of an ounce, but they put some copper in it. So it gives you that slight reddish tint to it. I'll turn it around. It has inscription along the outer edge. And let's see if I can get that thing to... It's a rooster on one side. So that ought to give you away. I'm not very knowledgeable with gold coins, so I do apologize if I do not know the name of this. So I think they said something bust. That's a nice coin. And now my favorite coin. Why is it my favorite coin? Because of the gold color. Unlike some of the, even the Cougaran, I think, has some copper in it. Just a slight copper tinge to it. My favorite gold coin. First of all, it's got to be that Indian Buffalo, which I don't own. I wish I did. But it's also the Canadian Maples. Why? Because they don't put any other color in it that I'm aware of. It's got a bright yellow gold look to it. And I love it just for the color of its gold. And on the other side is obviously the famous maple leaf. Anyway, folks, I really appreciate you watching. Again, the, the takeaway to this video is, you know, you can stack silver eagles and canadian maple leaves until you're blue in the face and it's going to get monotonous it's going to get boring you can stack plenty of maple leaves and you're going to have some really nice silver for for a stacking for an investment you're going to get your return on this no doubt about it folks but it can get monotonous and this is just an idea of some of the other things that you could be stacking that are just as worth it, every penny as worth it as these two, Canadian Maple Leaves and Silver Eagles. Every one of these is .999 silver. Got the one ounce bars I forgot to mention. .999 silver bars. So, anyway folks, you, you, um, 
keep stacking. I appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. One last thing before you check out. There's a little bell icon. Please click it. And you'll be notified every time I make a new video or go live. Thank you so much.